Hey everybody, I'm in uh, HD 43193 in Elite Dangerous. This system is pretty cool because it's got two black holes and two neutron stars. I'm going to the other black hole right now and the other neutron stars. Well, I, at the moment I'm actually heading to the planet, the gas giant, orbiting all of those. Let's kick it up a bit. This is mm, on the other side of the Horseshoe Nebula, relative to Earth. It's a decent distance. You need a, re a realistic exploration vessel to really get out there, or I guess a whole lot of dedication. But it's not like that far. My ship will do 40 to 45 light years in a jump as it's currently set up. It's somewhat engineered, but not crazy. There's a lot of good stuff to look at. So let's first do a flyby of this little gas giant right here. Oh, and I'm going to scan it. That's an orbit of CD6, so I guess that's CD6. One. Oh, CD6 is the gas chain. Um, oh, whatever that is. There's rings too. Cool. So CD6A is the gas giant. What's this guy? CD6 is a T. Brown dwarf, but it's going to bring it down a bit. Smooth. It's got rings of its own. That's cool. Yes, giant's orbiting. Okay, cool. Let me get rid of these orbit lines real quick. Let's come in on this. I think these look really cool. Brown dwarfs with rings. really mine, but I'm in the impression you can get some pretty good stuff from the rings around brown dwarfs. So that. So that looks neat. I kind of like that too. Let's go over to that planet. It's got rings of oh. I'm not going to bother mapping it though. Looks like it's got three sets of rings. And in the background you can see, um, orient it this way. That's usually the way you see it. That's um, the Horseshoe Nebula, but from the other side, relative to Earth. So 6A. I'm just not telling me I found it. It's got a ton of rings. Interesting. Trying recording with the Windows game recorder. We'll see how all well that works. I might do something else. It's my first time to record a game in several years to even try, and that was on a Mac, and that wasn't too great. Star. Where's the black hole at? There's a black hole hiding in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Let's go look at that. B. It's up there. Wait, that's not right. That was the first one I was looking at. Just a second. 
Let's go look at the neutron stars right now, because that's where I'm at. I thought there was a second one out here. There they are. And if you look at the galactic map from EDSM, Elite Dangerous Star Map, which is at edsm.net, this is actually one of them that's listed here, and that's how I found out about this. On there, it's called the Uchors Lighthouse, because um, we're in, in the Uchors region. Okay, here we go. That's nice. The other ones slower down. And I don't see the exclusion. I've got only one of my orbits in to see the exclusion zones. I'm not sure what the exclusion zones are on this one. That's insane. So. I don't know how to do the neutron jumps, but this is something you could do right here. If you know how to do that. If you somehow fly through these and you can jump like super far. Like triple or something. It's probably this D or C. Look at this map. D C one is a Y dwarf. There's another Y dwarf. What's this thing? Primary class B star with a black hole 800 light seconds away, and another one 1400 light seconds away. Um, B. So where's the other one? B, C, and D have been two. So 
Let's look at this way. Um, oops. Ah, okay, so we've got A, B, C, and D. the one black hole. Where's the other black hole? Where are you? Neutron star. We got a neutron star and a neutron star and those are the two neutron stars. These are all around dwarfs. Round dwarf. Round dwarf. Round dwarf. Round dwarf. Round dwarf. And the one black hole. <coughs> okay, well that's wrong. There's only one black hole. Which I've already been to. Let's go back to it. What's cool about this black hole is it's pretty tiny. Uh, I was able to get 28 kilometers of Actually, I don't think I did go to this black hole. This is it. Okay, I did find the other black hole. Cool. So there's two black holes. Oh, and this one's right next to a planet. This one. Oh, I'm going to exactly the wrong direction. Oh, I might as well map out that planet. So we've got another brown dwarf with rings. Three rings too. Sunrise. This is what's nice to the exploration. 
kind of dangerous. You just kind of wander around and walk at the pretty sights of that Oh, well, that's cool. You can see the, uh, the two neutron stars in here. So yeah, we get a little bit of a journey. Let's see actually how far is this from Earth. Um, yeah, so there's the Bernard's Loop and the Horse and Nebula. Um, Earth is like... So I don't know that nonsense. So uh, that's not too bad, about 1800 light years or so. If you went straight, I kind of went this way and then I came out here. You can't pass through this whole area. Um, around the Horsehead Nebula, there's um, a bunch of exclusion zones. You can get pretty close. Um, like you can get to this one, we got the Frontier, whatever that was. I can't remember, but you'll need to go either up or under or to the left or the right. You have to go around the actual Horsehead Nebula. If you want to come out here. So, 1800 light years on my machine, which will do 40 to 45 light years. You're talking, what's that? 40 or 50 jumps. Let's say 40 jumps, 50 jumps. And if you just want to jump, 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 you're talking a minute or two each. You're talking an hour or two journey. So, not horrible. But you probably want to actually explore as you go. Now, since this is actually the main star for the system, I could probably get there faster just by jumping out and back in. That's silly. I could get. Instead, I'm going to look at the map. I'm confused about this. Okay, so the. Okay. This is an orrery. I'm starting to speed up now. Cool. So I have a bookmark the system while I'm waiting. Alright, so this is HD where am I? Bookmarks. HD 43193. This is called Oo C H O R R S Light. Save that. That's what they're calling it in Galmap. No, HD is a real database of stars, so this is probably actually, at least the stars are probably actually accurate. If I haven't checked. So there is a real HD 43193 out there. Probably approximately 1800 light years from Earth. And if you had a real spaceship, you could go say hi. And maybe there'd even be a fun little black hole to look at. But who knows? Okay. 
Apparently only one though, not two. Which is the same. Gal map has a line to it. No, that star there, that B star the A. So B is the black hole. A is A B class star. color come up with other ships that you can get actually that took it oh yeah that's giving you a nice color yeah if you've got a good graphics card you can have it so that the settings are actually giving you realistic lighting based on the stars, which is really cool. Alright. You can already... Actually, I want to... I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to come in so that... see how the things are doing this weird swirling about. That's sort of what you get with the black hole. It's this weird warping of you're actually seeing the stars behind the lights getting bent. So they're trying to accurately represent that in the game, which is kind of neat. I want to see it warp A. I want to see the black hole warp the class B star behind it. So I'm going to come in from behind. Have them have kind of like the black hole basically to eclipse the star. Let's put this. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but the when I'm adjusting right down there, that little chart in the bottom middle, you can adjust how close everything is. And that's what I'm doing. You can already see. Oh, hit the body exclusion zone right there at 28.4 kilometers. See how it's making that cool little ball? That's actually the stars getting drawn around in a nice way. Bring this to a stop. I'm gonna get it out. Yeah. OK. 
they can kind of see it. Yeah. And you got this nice little ball of stars. So that's a black hole. And as close as you can get. Just about. Now the fun part. So I'm hitting the exclusion zone. Let's get out of here. So I'm going to to my back. And then I'm going to hit. And I'm going to launch a heat sink. Because I'm already overheating. Oh, that was actually cool. Oh, we got the, uh... What's that called? Bernard's Loop just sort of popped back into existence. That's neat. And there is, of course, the nebula in the center of it. And there's the main star that you would have jumped into originally. A. So this is HD 43193. Have fun. Bye.